Hello, everyone. Welcome to Community CPA's webinar. My name is Catherine Tran, and I work with Community CPA. Um, and Thursdays are kind of our days where we always invite guests to share resources with the community, to let people know um, what's going on in the uh, entrepreneurial small business space. So today we're excited to bring back Goldman Sachs, the 10,000 small business program. Um, this program, they work with small businesses to help them grow, create jobs, um, get more access to capital, um, among a variety of different things. So today we have their, um, we have Mallory Armstrong with us. Mallory, welcome. Welcome back. Good to be here. Good to be back. Yeah. So your program is coming up, right? So there is a deadline coming up. There is next Tuesday, November 1st, that is the um, initial application. So I'll talk a little bit more about what that means, um, but it is just a quick screening application. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but in order to be considered for our spring cohort, business owners would need to get that in before November 1st, end of day. Awesome. So yeah, please, I know you have a presentation for us, so if you'd like to share a screen, um, and go through that. We're happy to, to hear about it. Absolutely. Just a quick thumbs up, Catherine, make sure I'm not in a presenter mode or anything. You can see my full screen. Perfect. Yeah, it's great. Perfect. All right. Well, like Catherine said, my name is Mallory Armstrong. I'm the outreach and alumni manager for the Goldman Sachs 10,000 small businesses program here in Iowa. Yes, it is tricky to fit that all on a business card. Um, but I do it and I have my information um, at the end of this slide, but happy to pass out any virtual business cards um, as well. I do get a little bit chatty, so I know we've got a, a hard stop. So I, I did make myself an agenda, so I make sure to stay on track. So basically what I'm going to cover today in my presentation is who our participants are, just a general overview of what they get with the 10,000 Small Businesses Program, um, and then the selection criteria, kind of who's uh, eligible, and then the outcome. So what uh, business owners can get from the program. And then we can also, we'll also hear from one of our program alumni at the end, Perla DeLuca. She will be joining us at the end to mention, uh, to talk about her experience a little bit. So the 10,000 Small Businesses Program, it is a national program. Um, Iowa is one of 19 other sites, including a national site. The unique thing about Iowa is that we are statewide. So we've had business owners from Sioux City to Fort Madison, Dubuque, here in Des Moines. We've got them from all over the state of Iowa. Um, and then the statistics I'm going to share with you uh, right now our, our, came from our national program. So these are all of the alumni, so all 13,000 alumni um, as a whole. So who our participants are, we've got 40 over 45%, just over 45% are female entrepreneurs. The age ranges are kind of all over the board. We've had participants from 22 all the way up to 79. So different stages of their career, different education levels. I call this kind of a melting pot of entrepreneurs. One thing unique here in Iowa is that we have rural entrepreneurs and urban entrepreneurs. So we even get a little bit more of that diversity and that dynamic here in Iowa. As I mentioned, we're one of 19 other sites. You can see all of the sites listed here. Um, Iowa was actually the first statewide program. Since then, we've had uh, New Hampshire and Ohio follow suit. So we kind of led the way in what it's like to have a statewide program. The way I describe the program is twofold. So what participants get from the program on one side, they get business and management education. So they get over 100 plus hours of curriculum. We deliver that both in person and online. And then the curriculum includes everything from accounting and finance, negotiation, marketing and sales, um, all of these big topics. And then everything our business owners are working on during the program revolves around their individual plan for growth. So they're taking this curriculum, whether it be marketing, negotiation, um, what, what have you, they're taking that and they can immediately apply it to their business. So I always joke, it can be learn today, apply tomorrow, or some business owners, it's learn today, apply today. That's the way the curriculum is set up. It can be immediately applied to their business. 
But then also throughout the program, they're applying it to a comprehensive strategic plan for business growth. So that by the end of these 12 weeks, so the program is 12 weeks, at the end of 12 weeks, they're going to have not just where they want to be in the next five years, but essentially they're creating a roadmap for how they're going to get there. So they're creating this plan that can be immediately executed um, to, to launch that growth. So that's the education side. There's also a human aspect. So that's the other side. That's how I kind of describe that other side. With the curriculum, the business owners also work one-on-one -on -one with a business advisor. So they work one-on-one -on -one with a business advisor um, to build out this growth plan, but really they can advise on a lot of aspects of the business. Um, and then we also have a large network here in Iowa. We have a lot of local partners and a lot of great resources here in Iowa. And then also, because we're a national program, we also have a lot of resources nationally. I know Perla, who's going to be speaking a little bit later, she has taken advantage of um, a program called 10,000 Small Businesses Voices. So it's kind of the advocacy component of our alumni program. Again, just really utilizing the resources available at the national level. And then everything we do, regardless of whether it's that human aspect or the curriculum, everything we do revolves around business growth. So revenue growth, job creation, that's everything that we're doing. So regardless of whether it's curriculum, whether it's advising, everything we're doing is trying to um, build out a business owner's plan for growth. I've talked about all of the things they get, the, the two folds, but one thing I did not mention yet is that there is no cost. So there's no cost to this program, um, and that includes hotel and food for when we're in person. So those 100 plus hours of curriculum, the business advisor, all of that is no cost. And then when we're in person, and those in-person sessions are at the DMAC Urban Campus, so that is downtown Des Moines. Um, and then we say all the scholars stay at the same hotel, so hotel food covered for when we're in program, in the program, even if you are a local business owner and you're like, oh, I live, you know, two minutes from the DMAC urban campus, we always encourage still stay at the hotel. You've got a hotel room paid for you. You've got, you know, you know, all of your peers kind of right there and you can, you know, network, go out to dinner, what have you. So we always even recommend, even if you are a local business owner, still stay in the hotel because it's paid for <laughs> and it's all no cost. Uh, and then we do this twice a year. So we have a cohort in the spring and the fall. Uh, typically, we have about 25 to 30 business owners in each cohort. We're right now in the middle of our eighth cohort, our fall cohort, and we've got 25 business owners. And we're expecting that to be about the same for our spring cohort. And then who we're looking for. So our selection criteria, um, and I always have to preface, there's gray area on all of these. So another kind of component to my job is finding a cohort that's going to be a good fit for the business owner. So even if you're looking at this and you think you might not be qualified, go ahead and submit that initial application, um, you know, to be considered for the program. And then I'll work with you one on one and we can um, find a cohort that's going to be a good fit for you. So just know there's some gray area. Everyone is welcome to apply and we can kind of work on a case by case basis. But typically, it's going to be the owner or the co owner of a business. The business has been in operation for at least two years, have annual revenues above 75,000, and those are gross revenues. So annual gross revenues above 75,000 have at least two full-time employees or full-time equivalent employees. So if the business owner is working full-time in the business and they have at least two part-time or contract workers, those would count towards that equivalent. And then above all else, you need to have a desire to grow and create jobs for your community. So like I mentioned before, everything we do, revenue growth, job creation, um, you've got to have that desire to grow. I will say the program is also available to nonprofits as well. So that gray area I mentioned before, there is some here too. Um, typically it would be the executive director in a nonprofit or really the decision maker in an organization that would be um, applying for the program. And then what that process looks like. So I, I mentioned at the beginning, the screening application, that, that initial application is due by November 1st. So that application typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes. 
again, it's just checking those, the qualifications, the selection criteria. If you apply and you're not quite eligible for the spring cohort, that's when I would reach out and we would find, you know, if the fall cohort next year or maybe the spring cohort next year, the following year would be a better fit. So that initial application, you can apply at 10ksbapply.com. I do have that on my last slide as well, but those applications are due November 1st. So next Tuesday, November 1st, that's the magic date to remember. If you do submit that application before November 1st and you are interested in our spring cohort, the next step, um, you know, once we work out and see that you meet those qualifications, you would be invited to interview. Along with that interview comes a little bit more of an, uh, an in-depth uh, application. So we ask kind of just more questions on your goals, where you wanna take the business, how you think 10,000 small businesses can help you get there. And then we also ask for some supporting docu documentation just to verify everything on that application. So uh, balance sheet, profit loss, tax returns, all of that fun stuff we would ask for. And we call that our interview addendum. So that would be that part two. Then once we get all of that from a business owner, we would schedule um, an interview. I do put 30 minute informal interview, but I'm sure Perla can tell you a little bit more about what that interview really looks like. But the goal is to really just get to know the business owner and make sure that they're a good fit for the program as much as the program is gonna be a good fit for them and benefit them. So there is that interview process as well. And then our commitment to our scholars. So anybody participating in this program, First commitment, there's no cost. So it is covered by a full scholarship, meaning all of that curriculum, the business advising, hotel and food for when we're in person, all of that is covered by a scholarship. And then um, that local alumni network, the convenient class schedules, which we do have those dates set for the spring, which starts February 14th. So I can send that out to Catherine and she can distribute that to anybody that's interested. Or like I mentioned, my contact information is gonna be on the last slide. So I'm happy to send that to anybody as well. But on the other side, our expectation from our participants is that they're gonna do exactly that. Participate, really engage in the curriculum, meet with their business advisors and really build out this plan for growth so that they're seeing success. So that's our expectation, attending those, um, those required sessions, building out this growth plan and really just engaging uh, in the program. That's our expectation. And then the outcome is they get this growth plan. And I always say that I really every business owner that goes through the program gets something different um, because they create something different. Every business owner, whether um, you know they're a general contractor or they're a dog groomer or a restaurant owner, we have all sorts of industries. All of those businesses are completely different. Business owners and the goals that they have for the business are completely different. So the outcome of this program is going to be customized to the business owner. So you get out what you put in. So if you're putting in all the work and engaging, you're creating this growth plan. Um, that's really a, a customized plan for you and your business. And that is the, the outcome. But I also, not only do we just talk about how we want to you know, accelerate companies and, and, and grow companies and um, increase revenue, create jobs, these are na more national statistics I'm gonna share. So these are actual statistics from our over 13,000 participants and alumni that have been through the program, 67% report an increase in revenue just six months after completing the 10,000 small businesses program. 47% report an increase in net new jobs. So 67% reporting an increase in revenue, 47% are reporting creating new jobs, all within that six months after graduation from the program. So that those stats kind of speak for themselves a little bit. We don't just talk about how we want to grow business. We, we also monitor and, uh, and evaluate those businesses and make sure that they are seeing that success, the, the goal of the program. And then just over 87% of our alumni report doing business with each other. So that's not something that we put in the curriculum or we force or anything like that. Um, but a majority of small business owners end up doing business with other 10,000 small businesses alumni, which I always think is pretty cool. As I mentioned, I think on every slide, the last slide here has my contact information. So the link to apply 
10ksbapply.com before November 1st, which is next Tuesday. It's really creeping up on us. So before next Tuesday, go ahead and submit that application. We are also on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, um, and we post a lot of fun content and kind of give business owners that are following us a, a good idea of what it's actually like in the program. We do interviews with our faculty for each module. So they, the faculty members themselves actually give a little insight into you know, what, what their specific module is like. So, and then of course, my contact information, Mallory Armstrong, mcarmstrong at dmac.edu. So email me with any questions, um, take a quick screenshot of this page because that is how you can get a hold of us. And then as promised, we have one of our most distinguished alumni, Miss Perla DeLuca. Hi, Perla. Hi, hi Perla. Thanks for being with us today. Hi, hi, hi everybody. Hi, Catherine. Uh, hi, Mallory. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Anytime I have a chance to speak about 10,000 small business, I jump on it because it's uh, such a great experience. I love the program. I wish I could express to people, if you're thinking, oh, I don't have the time, I'm going to be away from my business, things like that, it's actually the opposite. You're going to create more time on your business. You're going to be more efficient, more profitable, all those things. So it's actually the opposite. I was so happy when I got accepted. And then I truly, truly, I was like a little kid through the whole program. I, and everybody, why are you so happy to be here? I said, I'm loving this. Like they're giving us great, great information at no cost, making our business better. We get to see um, different aspects of the business that we don't think about it. I think you need to step out of your business in order to learn more about your business. And that's what the advisors do for you. They say you could be doing this different or this better. And then you just go from there. So it's just awesome. What, what else can I say? Since I've been to the 10,000 small business, my life changed. So, so many opportunities, so many like media opportunities that just grew my business and we're just keep it going up now. <laughs> I love it. Perla, can you tell, tell us a little bit about your business? Yes, I am in construction, heavy construction. So um, when I went, I went mo mostly to learn about finances because I never had a chance to be trained properly uh, on that. And I learned so much more. I learned marketing, I learned different things. So I was just so happy to be a part. Um, my business increased a lot since uh, 10,000 small business. And uh, during the program, you got to choose like, um, if you want to expand or create a new business. My business opportunity was uh, create a construction school. Um, a lot of people, we talked there and nobody thought it was going to happen, like, but actually I opened in February. So <laughs> yeah, like it's been two years because COVID and everything, but I never gave up on my new opportunity, which I still do construction, but now we can help other people to be trained also. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Um, any other insights that you learned um, about your business that you'd like to share here? Yes, uh, for example, sometimes when you are on your business and at least uh, during, I did, I did cohort three right during COVID, uh, it was so awesome to have a, have a team, a community in Des Moines. We're helping each other with the PPP. We're helping each other with the programs that are available. Basically, that group saved us to stay in business. A lot of people went out of business for lack of resources. That didn't happen with us, thank God. And, you know, like uh, 10,000 small business was there the whole way, even after we graduate, even to today, making sure we are doing on a good path, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, what were some things that you that were like surprising to you about the program that you didn't quite expect going into it? So wasn't like surprising. Um, honestly, I had no expectations. I was just happy. I was like, let me participate, let me take it all in. But what is what what the, the human part of the program is to be on a room with people that go through the same struggles as you do. And then be able to share that. Like, I feel like business owners, we are lonely people because we have so much going on. We don't like, we don't want to talk to our friends. They don't understand. 
you know, so like over there is like everybody was speaking the same language. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, absolutely huge, right, for, for a small business owner. Um, and then in terms of like the, the time commitment, right, obviously there are the sessions and classes. How much would you say you spent um, outside of those classes working on your business? I would say between 15, what's between 15 hours to 20 a week. You do need to commit. And uh, I had one friend that um, she graduated la the last one or the one before. And uh, a week before, she's like, I don't think I can do it. I said, you can do it. You did it three months. We're going to finish this. You know, so it's just that commitment. I mean, once you started, you know, you got to put the hours. It's not, uh, it's the only thing they ask. If you're going to do it, be committed so you're not taking that opportunity from somebody else. Absolutely. Well, wonderful. Any other final thoughts, comments from either of you? I actually wanted to ask Perla, can you talk, so you graduated and remind me your cohort three? Three. The COVID cohort, yes, your cohort yeah, got interrupted by a global pandemic. Um, but since graduation, can you talk about the opportunities that you've had with the alumni program and maybe with voices? Just some, some big ones that stick out. Yeah, like uh, it's like in anything in life, what you put in is what you get out. I really got involved. I got involved in a couple of the boards that they have for the 10,000 Small Business Voices. I participated in one for six months, helping changing the law that uh, changed the goals for small business and women. I uh, went to the Washington DC a few times, interview with, you know, did interviews about it, uh, been home media. And recently I've been on national TV for the school. All that happened because I'm part of Voices. You know, so you're gonna also get the exposure, but also after I graduate, I chose to stay with it and really be part of you know, lobbying it, not lobbying is not the word, but like uh, advocating for a small business. Yes, I, that, thank you so much for bringing that up. Cause I know in my slides, I talk a lot about what you get, what business owners get during the program, but even after just being a part of this community where we have 13, over 13,000 alumni nationwide, and then over 200 here in Iowa, we are leveraging that community. That's a lot of business owners that are kind of in one, one network. Um, and so we do that with the, the 10,000 small businesses voices program um, and really being the, being a voice for small businesses for small business owners. So Perla, thank you for, for kind of highlighting a little bit more on the alumni. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. And real quick, we do meet with our um, you know, uh, cohorts like uh, Jenny was just in my office two weeks ago. Uh, I have a construction company. She's a metal fabricator. So I had a project for her. So it's a collaboration even after you graduate. That's wonderful. Any final advice for people who are interested in the program for either? Do of you? it. <laughs> I was going to say that too, but I felt like it holds more weight if you say it first. Do, do it. it. Yeah. Well, thank you both. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you, Perla. I really thank appreciate you. you taking the time to share about this program. I hope you get lots of applicants, even though you'll have to decide on them. But um, best of luck with this next cohort. Thank um, you. If thank anybody you, has questions, we'll uh, pass along Mallory's contact. Perfect. Thanks so much, Catherine. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, ladies. Everybody. Have a nice day.